this video I'm going to share a quick tip on how to optimize gas in for loops and I'm also going to give you a quick overview of the gas reporter plugin and teach you how to calculate the transaction costs. So there are a lot of plugins when using Harhat that you can use. These are some of them. Uh, these are from Nomic Labs themselves. This is the company that makes Hardhead, but there are also community plugin, and one of which is our gas reporter. And uh, this shows the gas usage of anything in your smart contract. You can test functions, the deployment costs of the smart contract itself. And to install this, just do npm uh, install or i hardhead gas reporter. I've already done that. After this is installed in the configuration file, you have to require this by saying require hardhead gas reporter. Then into also into your configuration file, you can configure this by saying gas reporter and specifying this object. We have a variable that just specifies if it's if the gas reporter is enabled. We're not going to talk about this for now. But how the gas reporter works, I have here a contract first, let me show you. A test contract uh, with a numbers array from the numbers that has numbers from 1 to 9. Let's make it 10. Actually, let's leave it at that. So we have a not optimized for loop and I'm going to write an optimized for loop. And I have written a test for this. So here in my test folder, I have a test file that simply gets the contract factory, deploys the contract, waits the contract to be deployed and then calls the optimized for loop function. And to test this, you just have to say npx hardhead test, just the same way you would test your contract. This guest report plugin overrides the test command basically. So here you can see, and uh, another very important thing I found is that it's best that you, for correct results that you test this function one at a time. So don't call two functions at once here because you're going to get different gas usage reports. So here instead of calling the optimized, I'm calling the not optimized for loop. And we got the, the not optimized for loop takes 58,142 gas and the deployment cost for this contract is 359,502. You can have your gas report also output it inside a file and you can configure this by saying output file is this text file. Just name the file whatever you want and say that txt. This is text file. For this to work I found out you have to put in this option as well that there are no cars and run a hardhead test and we should get a guest report uh, file like so text file in our root directory and you can see we got that the not optimized for loop function takes in uh, this amount of gas now we get this output for the gas and this is by the way the deployment cost for the contract so this is how much is going to cost in gas and how do you calculate this in uh, US dollars how much it's going to cost so this is the amount of gas now we have to multiply the gas amount times the gas price per unit of gas and to check how much one unit of gas costs you can use those two sites the ethereum gas tracker from etherscan or the eat gas station so with the new fee structure from uh, eip1559 there is a base fee and a priority fee and you would have to pay this is the base fee that gets burned and this is the priority fee that goes directly to miners so let's say we use this average way of sending transaction we have to pay 20 and uh, 2 this way is a unit of measurement of ether so one unit of gas costs us 22 way if we want the average amount and this is how much ether that is so to calculate our cost to deploy this contract this is the gas amount we'll use the same way you would basically use gas for your car so this is the amount of gas times the amount of ether and this is how much ether is going to cost 
to deploy our country. So the current price of Ether, let's say it's 1200 So to deploy our country, it would cost around $10. And now for the optimization trick. So let's copy the for loop. This is the traditional way you would do for loop. Just declare a uh, I variable initialized to zero, loop through all the numbers, uh, increase the I by one, and just let's say we want to set all the numbers to zero. So this is how you would do it. And currently it takes this amount of gas to do this with a not optimized for loop. Let's see, we can do three things to optimize this. First things, in solidity for whatever reason, if we put in the plus plus sign in front of the eye, this is more gas efficient, it costs less gas. So let's try to call this function and see how much difference it makes. So previously the not optimized for loop, it uses 58,142 and now it takes in 58,088 gas. So we saved a little bit of gas just by doing that. Let's see if we can lower this number even more. So if I go into the for loop, each iteration now, what we're doing is we are loading this numbers.length. And what we can do to speed this up is just load the number once here and save it inside of a variable. This way we are caching it. And instead of reading it each iteration, we need to just load the cached n number. And we've lowered this. So the previous gas cost was 58,000. Now we have 57,000. Let's see if we can lower this number even more. How can we do this? Well, the default value for any integer or unsigned integer is zero. So we don't have to initialize this. We can just leave it as such. And this will make our contract even more gas optimized. Mm -hmm.